So on this episode of Dirt, Grain, and Steel, uh, we're going to show you how to uh, replace your firming wheels on your 7,000 John Deere corn planter with new Shoops adjustable firming wheels that have this convenient nice handle on them to adjust your spring tension on your firming wheels. So <clears throat> this is an old Shoops one from probably 15, 20 years ago maybe. And this hole in this bushing is all worn out. So that allows this, when it's going through the field, to cock over and not properly firm your seed bed. And that's not a good thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace them with these new ones. These come fully assembled already. Except for the wheels, you have to put your wheels on them. You just drive roll pins out, shove them in. Make sure you put NICs back on them when you put them back in so they come apart and nice the next time. This hole right here is supposed to be egg-shaped because that's the adjustment. When you're all said and done, you hold this either way you need to and tighten it up. That way it follows your seat trench perfectly. So I'm going to show you how to install one. Of these. So we're going to get one of these put on. Dad's trying to record them for me. So the first thing you need to do, leave it here just to sit on the floor. <clears throat> Got to get the spring hooked up. That can be better. Once you get the spring hooked up, then you hold it in place. Put a flat washer on your bolt first and one of the bushings. Get it started in there. Get it pushed into that arm. Missing the bushing. Oh, here it is. Then come up through the bottom, hold this up out of your way. You can get your hand in there and get the nuts on. They are, they are a lock nut, so they don't thread on too far without resistance. Which, I'd rather have them do that to fall off out the field. Because this wouldn't be something good to run through combine next fall. You might not like it. You don't want to tighten these all the way up right now because you still have to set them. Shouldn't have greased the corn pole until after we worked on it, right? <coughs> go. Still moves so we can adjust it. So there it is. So <clears throat> we're putting these back together using our old wheels that were on the planter. These are most of these are rebuilt. We uh, rebuilt them last year. So we're gonna put this back in here. Might have to tap them in a little bit. Get your roll pin Hole lined up. We tip it up. Oh, we spilled Pepsi on the bench. Son of a bitch. Oh well. Might have to drive a tapered punch in there to wind the hole up just a little bit. So now we got a roll pin. It's got a nice taper on it to get it started. We're going to use a good 
Mayhew roll pin punch here. I got Pepsi all over the snap on here. Uh, good lubrication, I guess. Well, there you have it, fully assembled, ready to go back on the planer. So I'm gonna get this put back on, and uh, then we're gonna do uh, what do we got? Like eight more to do, and then we're done. So, anyways. Another handy tool for this project is an air hammer, and um, you can actually, I made this tool for the air hammer, it's just a pipe nipple welded to an old air hammer tool, and I put a roll pin punch in that, and then I use that to knock out the roll pins that hold the wheels on. You can drive them out, but I recommend you leave it mounted on the planter before you do that and you can also with a big flat punch in the air hammer you can hit right here and you can actually vibrate that wheel out and it'll fall right out on the floor dad i don't need the sound effects i can do the sound effects in the editing mm. what'd you do i dropped it what'd you drop Oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. That one's a little rough, isn't it? I need to, It'll be alright. Might need to replace that one. Mm -hmm. It's done. So I can put that one back on now? Mm -hmm. We're almost done. We're halfway across the planer. Mm. You make sure to line your hole up? Nope. No. It's the person the assembly line's problem. <laughs> they don't come off. Need a 916? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dad's strengths tattoos. Gotta love them.